Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Ethical Empire. So myself, Aman. Uh, we as a community, uh, we are going to uh, deliver a cyber security content. So uh, here in this channel, you are going to get a content about uh, cyber security basics and how to protect your data, how to protect your devices, and how to uh, perform attack ethically and uh, the little bit about stuff regarding uh, programming, uh, bash scripting, and all. So for today, we are going to perform a, a tag uh, using a tool at our cap, uh, where we can sniff our content from our remote connections. So let's get started. Yeah, so basically, Atter Cap is uh, one of the man in the middle attacks. So, in this, uh, Atter Cap basically includes live connection sniffing, uh, real time content filtering, and a lot of intriguing techniques. So, it has many features like uh, we can say host analysis, uh, or it supports both active and passive protocol dis dissension. And so, for this attack, we need uh, two machines. Uh, I'm using two machines as the first one is Kali Linux and the other one is Windows. So you can use any type of Windows like uh, Windows 7, Windows 8. Uh, I'm using here Windows 10. So uh, login into our Kali Linux. Now, uh, First, I am going to check our victim's machine's IP address. So, Windows machine is a little bit sluggish, so don't mind that. Yeah. Now we are in check our IP address from command prompt uh, here we will type a command ipconfig so this is victim's ip address or we can say windows ip address 192.168.148.129 now we back to we have to go back to our kali machine and uh, launch uh, at the cap you can launch it using terminal also or from menu so here at the gap graphical and we have to select that now uh, sniffing and startup we have to remain it check because as we uh, click the check option so sniffing automatically gets started and here are some interfaces primary interfaces like s0 local loopback bluetooth adapter number 0 and bluetooth linux monitor so here we are going to use s0 and for this sniffing we don't require it so we simply uh, launch now you can see that unified sniffing automatically gets started by its own you can see the plugins protocol all these here now we stop the sniffing and again start it so that it can capture the uh, capture the request or from a Windows machine, our victims machine. Here we can see host list. Uh, so now our IP address of victims machine is not visible here. We are we have to again stop and start this sniffing. Then we are going to check our host list. Yeah, now uh, our IP address is visible. So here we get uh, three responses. Uh, the first one is uh, that is not useful for us. And the second one is an IP address from uh, another machine that from which I am connected. And the IP address from our victim's machine that is Windows machine, uh, which we, ha we are going to uh, hack or attack. And um, now we have to set the target so we are going to set our 
victims machine as a target web for if you want more ip address in the host list so you can connect different machines also like if you have a virtual if you have a meta exploitable machine or a ubuntu linux in your vmware so iso files in that so you can connect from that also now i'm going to add my victims ip address as a target one and the other ip address that uh, machine connected so i'm going to add to target two for a demonstration now for if we want to see a uh, active targets and the current targets so we have to go on option targets and then current targets so here we can say that the target we selected target one and target two are displayed here so now we have to enable a port forwarding so for that we we have to go on our command prompt now we simply type a command cat and uh, this is the required command that is cat to forward slash proc and forward slash sys a forward slash net ipv4 and then ip forward i'm not going to type it again at which is already initiated here and now we can say it uh, uh, it respond as a zero so basically what it means so we, when it it uh, give a result as a zero it means the port forwarding is not enabled in kali linux system in kali linux if the port forwarding is enabled so for proxy net ip4 ip forward it will result as a one so what we are going to do we are going to change its value from 0 to 1 for that we have to type echo 1 and then this command and hit enter and we can see if its value got changed or not yeah it's it uh, result as a one it means uh, ip forward gets enabled now we have to move our uh, network analyzer tool that is wireshark yeah it's just taking little bit time to get started so let's wait for it yeah now it got open here uh, we have also select interfaces from where we have to enable a capturing request yeah now we will select at zero as the interface uh, as we have uh, selected in uh, at a cap so we will move forward with it now we can say it uh, started capturing request from the browser or the devices it is connected remotely now we have to move back to our at a cap and uh, here we i have to go mit a menu and for here we have to go select a poisoning and uh, sniff remote connections because we are going to sniff the content from windows machine to our kali machines and uh, yeah we are going to sniff content we can say a poisoning victims got selected and now we move back to our wireshark and uh, here we have to search for our request because we have selected a in attacker now a okay, we can say that we can see uh, our request are configuring well hmm. now we ba go back to our windows machine victims machine because uh, 
and uh, port forwarding is uh, work working well. Now we move to our Windows machine, and here we will use uh, any browser. Here I am using Microsoft Edge. You can use any browser. Uh, for login purpose, I am using one testing web page uh, from a uh, one web. So, Yeah, this is the testing web page, uh, testphp.bunnelweb.com forward slash login.php. If you have uh, any any web page for testing purpose, you can use that, no problem. Here, I am giving username as a ethical umpire. And password as a subscribe. Yeah, now I'm going to click login button. Login got successful. Now we can see here our content, what we have uh, mentioned in Windows machine. So it represents username as an ethical umpire and password is equal to subscribe. So we successfully snip the content from Windows machine to Kali machine. So this is all about the attack using the tool at a gap. And we can also snip the content using Wireshark also. So for this, I am going to, I will go make a different video for that in another in another day. And uh, this is the attack for uh, only knowledge or educational purpose. So don't use it uh, in an unethical way. And uh, this is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.